What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Shakespeare must have been here. On this gloomy day, we sail our little electric sailboat into the Great Dismal Swamp. The names Dismal and Swamp don't really give the illusion that this is going to be one of the most enchanting sails we have encountered. With a little splash of excitement as we become swamp people. Is this it? This is it. I almost missed it. You what? I almost missed it. How? Because like I wasn't looking here, I was following that guy because he was turning off. I was like, oh, okay, he's probably turning to it, right? <laughs> and I looked down, I'm like, oh, <laughs> almost Jeez. missed it. It's a real small cut. These look like Kraken, no, like Kraken arms. <laughs> They're like spiked tires. How fast are we going? We're going five, now we're going four and a half. It's much better to do that in here than out in the ocean getting beat up. Yeah, it'd be rough out there right now. Yeah. I mean, if we're doing this in here, yeah. in the middle of the state, <laughs> practically. <laughs> Now we enter the Great Dismal Swamp. <laughs> what a name. We were told differently, but we just couldn't shake the dreary visions of this route being dark and gloomy, pinturing dense, gnarled trees shrouded in moss, still murky waters reflecting the dim, misty light, and mysterious sounds emanating from its depths. <laughs> the weather, though, is probably not helping play along with this scenario. It's actually really pretty. This is how fast we're moving. <laughs> I can still see the marker. How fast are we going? What does it say? Two knots. Oh, really? That's what it says. Doesn't I don't feel like it. it. <laughs> I don't believe it. We're just going super steady, slow rate because we have missed the 130 time slot for the lock opening. Unfortunately, since we got stopped at the bridge, it kind of put us off of our schedule of being able to make this on time. We're literally a mile away, <laughs> but we're enjoying the scenery. Look how beautiful it is. Take our little path. Deep creek lock, deep creek lock. This is sailing vessel Sersha. Hi there, we just want to confirm that your next opening is around 3.30. Yeah, my next lock-in is at 3.30. Great. Uh, we are coming southbound. Is it okay if we just drop anchor just outside? Yeah, Cap, if you'd call me out of way, though, you only had two foot screws through the 4.30. What happened? If we would have called, he would have waited on us. Oh, whatever. Shoot. Wish we would have done that. Yeah, I didn't see nobody coming and nobody called, so we went ahead and locked in two through. But yeah, you can drop your anchor right out of anywhere. Great, thank you so much. Can you untie one of the, the longer one of those lines? Since we decided to skip braving the treacherous open ocean waters around Cape Hatteras, we had two inland paths to choose from to get us south, the Virginia Cut or the Dismal Swamp. These two canals are part of the Greater Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway, which stretches from Norfolk, Virginia, all the way to Miami. The Virginia Cut is much deeper and wider than the swamp and is the main route for commercial vessels. You could think of it as the major highway, as the Dismal Swamp is the little scenic country road, which happens to be way more at our speed. Literally and figuratively. There are two locks that regulate water in and out of the Great Dismal Swamp. This is the Deep Creek Canal Lock.
After the lockmaster secured the other boat, he closed the north gates and slightly opened the south gates, flooding the chamber with fresh water, raising us up to four feet. The locks help keep the swamp's fresh water supply separate from the river and sound, ensuring that it stays fresh, since fresh water is so vital for the survival of the swamp. And it's actually considered one of the swamp's wonders. Despite its unsavory color, the water is incredibly clean. It's so clean that sailors used to collect it in barrels because it stayed fresh for ages. Beautiful day to be in the lock. Every day is a beautiful day, I love you. The water is preserved by tannic acids from the bark of trees like juniper, gum, and cypress. And these acids stop bacteria from growing in the water. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is all you. Since it was getting late, we decided to take advantage of the free dock just on the other side of this lock. A big advantage of the swamp, free docks. As we pulled in, we had help from Jay and Jane on Sea Spirit. They were on the same track as we were, to get south and warm again. A lot of cruisers we've heard tried to time the locks just right to do this part of the swamp in one day. But it's nice not to rush and to stop and smell the swamp and make new friends while we're at it. All right, we made it <laughs> with the help of our new friends. <laughs> we don't like docking, but we did it. And now we're gonna have a nice calm evening. <laughs> That could have been bad. <laughs> Good morning from Deep Creek. It's been quite the active morning with all the ambulances going by. This nice. place is cool. Calm. Like, yeah. I walked around and they have like a, a full like workout station. Really? Yeah. Oh, we should have got up early. I did. <laughs> it worked out. Oh, no. there's people going through the lock. Oh, there are. Did you call? <laughs> we need to get south. You can see my breath. Yeah. So what's the deal? I didn't deal? call. They're just, I heard people lock, getting locked through. Oh, so what's the deal? with? I guess we wait to see them go by and then we go out because we'll all go through the swing bridge together. Okay. But we probably should call, about, call them anyways and let them know we're coming through the swing bridge. Yeah. So. Yeah. Give them a little space. Oh, uh, we probably need to be right behind them for the bridge, huh? This is Sersha. We are actually just about to push off as well. Copy that. Just making sure. All right. Once y'all push off, I'll uh, yeah, head up to the uh, bridge. Appreciate that. No problem, guys. We'll see you down there. Pushing off. Pushing off. It's beautiful out. The lockmaster has to do double duty as the bridge tender for our upcoming bridge, so we're taking our time as he drives over to open it up for us. This is so beautiful. <laughs> It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful one. I know, yeah, it just started getting chilly around here in the last couple of days. Yeah. Y'all yeah. stay warm tonight, enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye now. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks.
don't think this is gonna work. starting to turn that way. Keep going. Because the canal is only six feet deep at its center and 50 feet wide, Brandy had to reverse Sersha so we could get back to the crash site. It's tricky reversing this old boat because of prop wash. We can't get her to reverse in a straight line. So we back up until the bow is pointed to the shoreline and then move slightly forward to, to right straighten there. it out and then repeat. Yeah, but Just be careful that there aren't branches right there. We think we're in the right spot, so I grab a snorkel and strip down to my skibbies. The bottom is really hard, but the water is freezing. It was right by that branch, wasn't it? Where? Right behind you. I think it fell like right in that bend. Come on, you can do it. You can find it. Push the boat. <laughs> Push the boat out of the way. No, it's fine. Don't. It's fine. Come on, where is that? It took a while to sift through all the sticks and muck, but with Brandy's help, we found it. Yeah. No, hurry and get the card out. Dang it. Don't leave me behind. <laughs> oh. And if you're wondering, no. This video yeah, is cold. not sponsored by we Hanes, but it should stinks. be. Yeah. Oh, hope well. the card works. We can dry it off and hope it does. Well, that was an adventure. It's a, the drone was acting a little funny in here because it can't get a good signal. But I was, I was pushing a little too much and ended up in a tree. And then it fell out of the tree and into the water. And hopefully we can recover the footage and maybe dry out the drone itself. We'll see. We got the sail up, but the wind is all over the place, so it hasn't really been helping, has it? Uh, here and there, but not really. It's, I kind of have it just to where it's like a self-tacking jib at this point, because it's just going back and forth a little bit. It'll catch wind on this side, and then it'll catch it on that side, but... But man, it is so pretty in here, and peaceful. We are about to hit North Carolina. Virginia, 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 Virginia. Oh wait. Yeah. What? North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we have to go through three movable bridges and one fixed bridge before we can exit the swamp. Are you going straight through or are you stopping at the rest area? Yeah, we're going to go straight through. This is the State Park Canal Bridge that allows people to get across the swamp. It's pretty unique because it is a floating swing span bridge. Back before highways were around, the most efficient way to transport goods was through the canals. George Washington and a few other investors saw the financial potential in connecting the Chesapeake Bay and the Albemarle Sound. They formed the Dismal Swamp Land Company to harvest the lumber and drain the swamp for development. After realizing how difficult it was going to be to drain the swamp, they focused on logging. The digging of the canal took 12 years of hard manual labor, mostly done by slaves. Ironically, the canal was later used as part of the Underground Railroad. Currently, it's the oldest operating man-made canal in the country and is maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers. I think that's her. <laughs> yeah, six minutes. South Mills Lock. She said eight feet. Yep. Pull it in a little. I love how they all have little houses. I could live in that house. So how much uh, shallower is it? Yeah, it's about three or four foot below what it normally is oh. out there. Oh, whew. Yeah, but wow. looking at my commercial pylons that's okay. outside there and measuring. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can see a lot of the land which is usually covered up. Oh, you can see a lot of okay. It so just pick stick in the middle, middle, huh? Yeah, just close. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely don't be in a hurry out there. No. <laughs> We're never in a hurry, so I guess that's good. <laughs> well, if you were, you wouldn't have a sailboat. You'd have a motorboat. That is correct. <laughs> it's opening. Never know what's lurking in the distance. <laughs> I feel like I'm sailing through one of those pictures you see on a puzzle. <laughs> right? It's 100%. <laughs> Just like all the different colors. And it, it always has like a little focal point. You that know? is hilarious. <laughs> yes. It is definitely picturesque through here. Puzzle picturesque. <laughs> puzzle picturesque. <laughs> I have to say that I'm really glad that we got to come through here during fall because it's so colorful. <laughs> I mean, we've, I've, we've been up north, we've lived up north, and we've seen the fall colors change and the leaves change and such, but sailing your boat through it, it's a whole nother feeling. Man. She wasn't lying about the water being low. It is so magical in here. I am so glad we took this route.
We found our location for the evening. Just right in the middle of the swamp. Beautiful. Actually a little more to port. Okay. Are you gonna drop here or do I need to go more in? No, further. There's a trawler over there. Right there. So, hopefully they're not moving for tonight, tomorrow. Showing 10 feet. All right, anchor set. I can't even see your face. It's kind of creepy. I'm cold. Let's go snuggle under the blanket. <laughs> His face is there. Remember when Bo said it felt like he was sailing in a picture on a puzzle? Well, that inspired us to create some jigsaw puzzles using some of our favorite captures of this trip. They are now over in the shop on our site, bowandbrandy.com. Hope you enjoy. Join us next week as we continue our sails south to much warmer waters. As you can see, we're a little behind on our videos. So if you want the insider scoop of real-time updates, captain's logs, and live video chats, be sure to join our community over on Patreon. We'd love to have you.